like we have to live you know like this is about your health and your wellness you know what i mean i have been so depressed literally for the past like weeks okay so i was about to start meal prepping and then i got this idea of why not do a video showing y'all realistically what's in my fridge what's in my cabinet just a side note i have been so depressed literally for the past like weeks and it's just life just going through stuff just you know life be life and as i'm sure it is for every single person i kind of battle between like trying to show up for like the people that look forward to seeing my content and videos and stuff because i'd be like oh i can't film because i'm not happy and then i was like who cares if i'm happy like if i'm a film i'm gonna just film you know the problems the things that you guys think are your problems like yes they may be problems significantly big problems but it's really all about perspective i went up to stone mountain the other day i climbed the mountain because y'all been going through i've been like i don't know what i need to do i don't know who i need to talk to but like i gotta get my mind right like i just can't sit around and just let this like darkness like consume me you know and when i was up there it's like you know you're on top of this mountain and it's just like everything is just so small everything is just so small compared to just compared to where you are you know and that's i just realized i was just talking to myself and i was just like well really i was like praying and god was just like those tiny things that you can barely see like those are your problems all those little tiny specks like problems are just problems i just i always want to be authentic i never want to be somebody that feels like i have to be somebody that i'm not whether it's for content or an audience or a platform or whatever you know what i mean like if i'm depressed i'm just be like look guys it's been a rough week you know and i'm just not feeling like i'm just sad this week you know i'm not depressed i just have like depressing moments as like everyone does and that's okay like we're all human we all go through things we all need support sometimes but i feel like for me like i just have been feeling so down lately i think a lot of it just has to do with like in this phase of my life that i'm in being an entrepreneur and being a personal trainer every road comes with their own obstacles every like path comes with its own set of like struggles you know what i mean i think lately i've just been like so stressed out because i'm just like man like it's just so lonely like, i don't have no friends i don't have nobody i can talk to nobody understands like and then at the same time just like you know having kids and being a single mom be like dang like it's so hard like you know and then that's just when like the enemy and those voices start creeping in you know you should just give up you know all this hard work look where it's gotten you to and and so it's just important for when those thoughts come because i know i'm not the only one that like deals with stuff like that and so what i do i'm sharing with y'all like what i do to like kind of get me out of that like funk you know i just always remind myself how far i've come there will be days where i'm literally so hard on myself saying like you can be doing this and you're not doing this and you're slacking in this and this isn't done and like bashing myself for it but at the same time, when I think back to where I was a year ago, two years ago, it reminds me to like be grateful for the process and the journey and to just be grateful for how far I've come. Nobody said that everything is going to happen overnight and it's just going to be quick and easy and seamless and painless. Like literally nobody ever said that. You have to train yourself to be strong, not just physically strong, but mentally strong. That's why I'm so passionate about fitness too is because it's not about trying to be perfect or be skinny or be cute or whatever. Like no, like this is real life. Like, we have to live you know like this is about your health and your wellness you know what i mean you have to train yourself to be strong to be able to get knocked down and get back up take the punches that life throws at you and literally just like keep moving through it everything is always going to get the hardest right before the breakthrough you know and so i know it's like so cliche to be like oh guys don't give up just keep going guys like life is going to get great i promise i just don't want to be like one of these like fake content creators that's just like acting like my life is perfect all the time because you see what's on social media but like nobody knows me in real life that's why i like youtube and i tell you this all the time i like youtube because i can be myself and i just be real and i can just be like look guys like i'm going through it look i'm sad what good does it do to have another like perfect person in the world do we really need more people acting like their whole life is together and nothing is wrong but anyways you know i'm gonna get back to the whole point of this video it is easy to get caught in that like comparison thing where it's like you know you look at other people and you're like you know i haven't accomplished this yet like you know what i mean you just kind of get sucked into like and but that's the enemy's plan is to take you off the things that to take your mind off of the things that like god is doing and have you focus more on like what god isn't doing and not to say that he's not doing that but maybe he's not doing that like right now you know all i'm gonna say is is hard times don't last okay sad times don't last literally nothing lasts forever but at the same time too i'm gonna tell y'all a lot of stress is caused by lack of action and that's one of the things that i too have had to be real with myself about is a lot of the stuff that you're stressing about can actually like you'll get rid of the stress by doing what you need to do doing what you know you need to do don't be that person 
hello don't be that person that's oh my gosh i'm so overwhelmed i have so much to do i'm just gonna like lay in bed and just be like stressed and depressed no don't do that it's okay to have those emotions but like just keep going put one foot in front of the other when you do what you know you're supposed to do and you do what you know needs to get done you realize that oh my gosh like oh that's one box i can check off now to the other 98 boxes but yeah i'm just happy to be feeling like myself again and i mean i look real ratchet right now too y'all i'm looking real ratchet so just excuse it but yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all what's in my fridge. These are my babies. Yes, my Munchkaramas. I love them so much. Mwah. Mwah. This is stuff I really need to throw out, to be honest. I really don't be eating the french fries. I keep saying I'm gonna make for the kids and like I never make for the kids. Frozen berries. I just bought them fresh and then I freeze them. You can either buy the buy them fresh and freeze them or you can just buy them frozen, whatever. Just for like smoothies, protein shakes and stuff. Um, oh, there's two in here. I haven't eaten these in a while. Acai, these are great for breakfast, okay? Healthy breakfast ideas. Acai bowl with granola, some shaved coconut, some fresh fruit, whatever. You can do acai in so many different ways, but super, super good for healthy breakfast. More frozen fruits. To be honest, I got this because I was trying to make some homemade empanadas one day and it just didn't go well and I was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm using that for, but whatever, that random stuff that just be in there. Kale. So we got like meats. These are bananas that I put in the freezer. I put these in the freezer to like get cold, but then I always end up forgetting about them. So they end up getting frozen with the skin on it. I just gotta throw them away. But anyways, this is some lettuce again for smoothies, some salmon. So usually for the salmon, I buy like this and then I cut it into like one, two, three, four, five, six shrimp. I can do, I do a lot with the shrimp. These are again, and frozen fruit there's bananas in here you can't really tell these are literally all strawberries all of them are strawberries because I love strawberry banana smoothies <laughs> So. Okay, so look at my dog just chilling back there on my rug like he paid bills or something I got these cereals for the kids, but to be honest Sugary cereals are really not the best I definitely will eat Honey Nut Cheerios every once in a while, like if I'm lazy and don't feel like cooking dinner. But I really try not to, especially these next few weeks, really until the end of the month, just because like, I don't know, like I just been slacking, like I said, like I've been depressed, I've been emotionally eating, so I'm really just getting back like focused into like game mode and you know, you see it, you see it coming in. <laughs> But just getting back to me, you know, like what makes me feel like me. Th this is what the kids eat. Um, I gotta find some healthier options for them because to be honest, I think these are actually not even really that healthy. Anyways, it's Cheerios. So to the fridge, the main part, right? We just got some pancakes. The kids love pancakes, you know, mom life. Some bagels. These are actually some keto bagels. So if you are like me and you like carbs, you like to eat bread and stuff, I got these because these are really good for breakfast. You know, put some uh, guacamole, fried egg, like whatever you want, you can just kind of throw it on there. I got some little tortillas for like little street tacos. Most of the stuff is for my meal prep, to be honest. Um, I just haven't meal prepped yet, but I'm uh, going to. Okay, water drink your water. Okay, stop buying juice. Stop buying soda Okay, I do have this in here, but if you're gonna buy it like don't drink it all in one day Okay, like this has been in my fridge for like a week And I'm actually really proud of myself because usually this thing will be gone in like a day But I'm telling y'all I got goals. We started this boot camp like I'm sticking to it. Okay, I did buy this It's still pretty full. So I got water. I got these protein shakes because I wanted to try them. They're okay to be honest Okay, so actually I'm about to meal prep. Really, that's how I started this video was because I was about to meal prep and then I was like, wait, I'm gonna show them like what's in my fridge. This is just like some lettuce. I'm gonna make like some spring rolls. Cucumber because I put cucumber in my water. Turkey bacon, okay? I always have turkey bacon because that's pretty much what I eat for breakfast every single day. Eggs, turkey bacon, asparagus, smoothie protein shake something right like just something small cheese for the kids i don't really eat cheese like that to be honest some chicken that i'm about to meal prep with feta cheese and black olives because i like to do like mediterranean chicken bowls shredded carrots and lettuce because i'm gonna do some wraps uh what is it like i'm gonna do a shrimp scissor salad wrap and like in a spinach wrap so I got this, and then this for the spring rolls, the carrot. So this is pretty much just regular stuff. I mean, like you got cilantro, lime, lemon, cucumber, asparagus, tomatoes. Just, I'm gonna take some of this stuff out because I'm about to meal prep with it. You know, just things that you might wanna add to spice up your meals and stuff. Apples for my smoothie, oranges for breakfast and for smoothies and stuff. So as y'all can tell, 
tell I drink a lot of smoothies. It's a great way to satisfy that like sweet craving without all of the extra added sugar and stuff. And then over here, okay, like I got some cinnamon rolls, but to be honest, it's for the kids. I don't really eat these because I just, I, for the kids. Guacamole for those bagels I told y'all about. You know, we got like some Caesar sauce, uh, the Chick-fil-A's, avocado lime are so good. Some jerk seasoning, like I'll do shrimp. With green beans, this is really good. Like if you saute some shrimp and green beans and like a whole shrimp curry meal kind of. Ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce for some chicken or something if you wanna spice it up or whatever. To be honest, I got these ginger sauces because I was gonna try them, but it just, it looks nasty to me. So like, I don't wanna eat it, you know? Like I don't, mm -mm. I don't even know why I buy stuff like that if I'm not gonna eat it. But yeah, that's literally like all that is in my fridge and stuff, some salsa, queso, okay, something to throw out. Butter, I need to stop buying butter. Sometimes I drink these like little immunity shots too. These are really good. But now for the pantry, okay. Um, this is actually some really good tea that my friend sells. I'm gonna link it below because literally it's so good. I have like two bags left. So, so, so good. One thing too that y'all can start doing is drinking hot meals. Uh, drinking hot tea or hot water with your meals because think about it when you're uh, Washing grease down a sink the first thing you're gonna do is turn on that hot water, right? And so as you're eating and you're eating greasy foods or foods with butter olive oil whatever It's good to drink hot tea or hot water to just kind of like aid in digestion and make it not so like clogged and like You know bloated and stuff in your stomach. So that's a little tip for y'all. Okay, that's my tea I'm about to meal prep with this this pasta, y'all, oh my gosh, screenshot this, screenshot this right now because this, so good y'all, like literally it is so good. Skinny popcorn because you know, I gotta have my snacks, it's like a healthy snack, okay, you know. Brown rice, usually I buy the regular brown rice. Popcorn, I'm kinda telling myself right now, the problem with me is I don't eat the whole bag, like I'll want some popcorn and this is actually the first box of popcorn, The only this is the only box of popcorn I have bought this entire year, literally, and to be honest, it's like it's just there for like that craving but like I said these next few weeks really to the end of the year I'm just like really focused so it's probably still gonna be in my cabinet so we're just gonna leave that there I got this popcorn to be honest I was at the grocery store and the kids threw it in the basket so I thought they wanted it and then I bought it and then like they don't even eat it so whatever it's gonna be here until they eat it because I'm not wasting no money some more snacks for them they like to eat skinny popcorn those are some snacks I buy from them again meal prepping with my little spinach wraps oh I got these because I wanted to do like some stir fry some like shrimp I really eat just a lot of shrimp i'm um, chicken every now and then but mainly shrimp deep fried stir fried there's pineapple shrimp um maybe like a shrimp stir fry or something shrimp soup shrimp stew shrimp salad shrimp and potatoes snacks for the kids snacks 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 so these are the rice rolls that I'm about to meal prep. Sometimes you just be buying stuff, but then you realize like, this is not gonna help me achieve my fitness goals, so. For a lazy meal, every now and then, you know, you can never go wrong with ramen noodle, but to be honest, like it is very unhealthy and it's a lot of calories, so I don't really eat it that often. I'm really transitioning from buying regular pasta to buying this protein pasta, because first of all, protein. Second, it tastes so good, and you don't have that guilty feeling of like, oh my gosh, all these carbs, oh my gosh, like it's gonna stay on me, like you know. Check it out. My kids are so simple. They don't like all the extra stuff. Like I literally will boil, boil some peanut pasta, pasta, put some fettuccine alfredo, and they will act like it's the five five course dinner over here. These are some snacks. They're so good, y'all. These are so good. Croutons for my Caesar salad. Some pistachios. You know we love pistachios. My dog's name is Pistachio, so. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my food pistachios. I got some Texas toast at the store the other day because I was wanting to do more like um, breakfast sandwiches for breakfast and stuff, but I ran out of eggs. That's one thing you didn't see. I need to get some more eggs and some more almond milk. Sriracha, like I'll do sriracha honey salmon. I like to marinate my chicken and some chipotle peppers just for extra flavor and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Over here, I just kind of have like my protein, peanut butter, granola, flaxseed, chia seed. Realistically, like this is not, I did not just go grocery shopping and make everything nice and cute so I can show y'all all the fancy food that I have. Like this is literally my fridge on a 
daily basis. I'd rather buy a small amount of food that I know I'm gonna eat than buy a whole bunch of food and then like a week later, everything is like spoiled because I didn't eat it. Me personally, you know, I'll buy things for what I know I'm gonna meal prep or eat in like the next two to three days. If you are someone who's wanting to like learn more about the nutrition part of things and the dietary part, I'm definitely gonna be making some more videos about that because it's so simple. It's things that like people already know, but sometimes you just need somebody to like simplify it for you. So I'm gonna be posting more videos about that, just like realistic stuff, you know, like, cause like I said, we're out here like trying to actually lose weight. Like we're actually trying to be healthy. We're actually trying to make up the lifestyle change. We're not just trying to lose weight just to gain it back, you know? But I just wanted to kind of show y'all from my perspective, like what I eat, the kind of things that I prep. Um, I hope this video maybe like gave you insight as to the things that I eat, but I'm gonna try and do more cooking videos. Maybe I'll do like shorts instead of an actual video. I'll do more shorts for you all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!